Hello. Today we're going to focus on the labor market, specifically the concept of reservation wage. Our reservation wage is the wage at which we're indifferent between working and not working. In other words, it's the lowest possible wage that we'll take before we'll consider working. Mathematically, the reservation wage is the marginal rate of substitution of our utility function, where C is equal to our non-wage income, meaning we use only non-wage income to consume goods, and R is equal to L bar, meaning I work zero hours still, or my recreation is my total amount of hours available to me. This is because we're at the point where we're just about to consider starting to work. As such, in this specific example, we face a utility function of recreation to the one half times consumption to the one half. We face a L bar or total number of hours available to us of 10 hours and a non-wage income of 100. So, our marginal rate of substitution will be the marginal utility of R over the marginal utility of C, which is one half R to the negative one half times C to the one half over one half R to the one half C to the negative one half. To simplify this a bit, we can cancel out these one halves we can move R down and we can move C up. What we're left with then is C over R for our marginal rate of substitution. Again, at our reservation wage, C is equal to M and R is equal to L bar. So we should plug in those variables. This means our reservation wage is M over L bar in this case. Our non-wage income is given to us as 100, and our total number of hours available to us is given to us as 10 hours. So our reservation wage is $10. For the second part of our question, we say that we're faced with an $8 wage. How many hours would we work? In this case, we would work zero hours. Again, our interpretation of our reservation wage is the lowest wage I would possibly take. If I'm willing to take no lower than $10 an hour, but I face a wage of $8 an hour, I would work zero, zero hours.